All right, y'all, we have to sit up in here and talk about this beef that is going on between Miss Tamar Braxton and Candy and her husband, Todd, because, child, this shit is getting juicy, and this has been going on all damn day. I feel like I've been stuck in a 24-hour soap opera, and believe me, you, it's a whole lot to unpack, so I'm going to need y'all to bear with me on this tea. So basically how this whole situation started, it all started because last night Tamar was on Watch What Happens Live where she was uh, promoting the Queen's Court along with Evelyn Lozada and Nivea and a some callers, whatever, you know how they do on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. They basically called in and they asked her a question about who was the Atlanta Peach that she alluded to a couple of months ago that... Um, got, I guess tried to fight her or threaten her, whatever the case was, and she really didn't say who it was. She said she would probably spill the tea a whole nother time. But then Andy Cohen, of course, the messy queen that she is, had to go in and pretty much ask her, okay, so everybody thought it was Eva or Drew or something or another, and it was like, no, it wasn't them. It wasn't Eva, because I know a lot of people was speculating that's who it was at the time when she first told this story. But then there also was some who thought it was Candy, but she didn't really say nothing. So, of course, when he's like, oh, it's not Candy, is it? Because, you know, Candy's his girl now. She the new Nene of the Atlanta Housewives. So, you know, he treads lightly when it comes to her until she overstepped her boundaries with him. And then he's going to put her out the pasture like he did Miss Leaks. But that's a whole other story for a whole other time. Let's just focus on this right here, okay? So, she just basically answered but giving no answer and taking a sip of her drink which pretty much confirmed that it was Candy and Todd who she was alluding to a couple of months ago. So then she went on um, Instagram Live because she was in a car. I guess she was on her way to work because I think now she works over at Disney Nation. She was in the car with her man, JR, who I like to call White Chocolate because you know he all of a sudden Mr. Gangster. Oh wait, actually he was a gangster. He alluded to that in the show. So, um... You know, she's got her new fiance, whatever. They was in a car and she basically broke down what happened. She said, basically, this whole beef stemmed from a time when, I guess, Carlos King, who, you know, was a producer, similar to Andy Cohen, but I don't know who's messier, him or Andy Cohen, but, you know, they all trying to climb up that ladder and they don't give a fuck who they step on to get, you know, to where they need to get. But anyway, so... Tamar basically alluded to the fact, or she didn't even allude anymore. She basically broke it down. She said that um, it all started because, I guess, Carlos King had was going to do an unauthorized documentary on Escape and had the rights and the stat and the third and wasn't going to ask Candy and the girls permission to pretty much put this whole situation together. And I guess Candy, not realizing that this is not show friends, it's called show business, was in her feelings and felt a kind of way because she felt that Carlos would have called her up at least and asked her or wanted to have the girls contribute to the documentary. He just wanted to do whatever he wanted. And I guess because they worked together back in the day on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, he was going to be all messy and put some shit together. And then y'all was going, we was going to sit and kiki and be entertained by it all. And then she was going to be over there mad because, you know, this squirrel ain't been, ain't nobody been checking for Carlos in a long time. So, you know, he's a squirrel trying to get a nut and climb his way back up in everybody's good graces because he over there on the own network. I wouldn't even know where the hell that damn channel is on my TV because I don't even have cable. But nevertheless, that's what the situation was. So, when they were performing together back in December, Tamar was like, hey girl, how you doing? Whatever. They all kind of, you know, mm, you know how to, you know, the Hollywood moves and all this stuff, how they do in Atlanta or whatever because that's Black Hollywood too. Um, she basically was like, I don't fuck with you. Basically, she, you know, was like, yeah, I don't fuck with you. And she's like, what? what? I don't know why you feeling that way or whatever. Because, you know, Tamar say some shit, could be completely oblivious. She throw the rock out of her hand and forget that um, everybody don't forget the mess that you say and certain things that you do. But she could have just left it alone and not brought this up and taken sides over at Dish Nation. Because she also said that she a five-time Emmy nominated journalist. Now here's the thing. <laughs> How the hell are you a journalist? My girl, you pretty much a talking head. Now, anybody who does not have a journalism degree, but you on TV spilling tea and talking about other people that you may know, which is a slippery slope if you're a celebrity talking about other celebrities. Um, you're nothing more than a pundit. You're nothing more than a talking head. So unless you have a journalism degree in your house like Tamron Hall and a bunch of others like a Don Lemon or um, Anderson Cooper, bitch, you ain't nothing more than a goddamn talking head. You are not a, um, you know, you're a commentator. You're not a journalist. So stay in your lane and stop with the journalism thing just because you on TV running your mouth for a living because that's not what journalists or all journalists do unless you got that degree. 
So things escalated between the ladies and then Carlos King got on social media and started talking because T.S. Madison posted this and listen very, very closely. If you got my phone number and or are able to reach me personally and you choose social media to take a grievance up with me, this new me is not about to give free public shows to strangers, but I most definitely will address you in your face. And Carlos King jumped into it because I don't think T.S. Madison was talking about um, Kenny. I think she was just talking in general. And he said, me all day, I ain't addressing no one who has my number but runs the blogs and talk about me face to face blah 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 blah, so on and so forth but whatever um but you on social media talking shit but you saying that you don't run the blogs and things which is cool but you on social media talking ish so the math ain't mathing now, Tamar also went on and said, before y'all start, because she clapped back at the haters and stuff or people that were saying that she shouldn't have said nothing. She said, I left the situation alone, but the fact is Kenny and Todd wanted to fight me, period. There was witnesses and JR came to the next show to check Todd and basically said that he apologized and she bets that in so many words that he won't, they won't address the situation. Now, I should say this, Kenny did respond when she was on Amazon because she was working while Tamar was busy dropping all this damn drama all over social media. And she pretty much said that nothing happened. This isn't true. This, that, and the third. And basically said that um, she may address it or she may not address it. But I guarantee you this. It'll be candy fodder <laughs> for her new episode to speak on it. So I don't see why she won't go in there and address the situation. Because definitely we all, I know, as a class, will be watching. So... I hope Candy does go all out and tell her side of the story of what happened. Now, do I think this could have possibly happened? Possibly. But do I think that Ty would be the type of person that would threaten someone like Tamar? I don't really believe that story. I believe that um, Tamar has a flair for the dramatic. I'm not saying that Candy is innocent because when need be, I know Candy don't be, you know, not going to play in her face. And I be feeling like a lot of times because Candy is nice and she a Southern girl and all this other stuff, a lot of y'all like to play in her face. A lot of y'all like to come for her because she, at this point, is one of the biggest um, names on Bravo. Like, she's definitely booked and busy. She got like 5,000 damn jobs. So I can Jeez, see why everybody you know, is coming. Oh, that's my TV. I was like, so a lot of people are going to come. I guess, for her and try to come for her gig. And that's usually how it is on um, in the world of entertainment. It's like whoever is at the top and has got the biggest name and all this other stuff, there's always those people who's going to come up and try to come for your gig. And quiet as it's kept, we ain't been checking with Tamar in a while because of her reputation. She got a snotty-ass mouth. She has a stank attitude, allegedly. This is what a lot of people are saying. And a lot of people don't want to fuck with her. So at this point, when you're on Andy Cohen, <coughs> excuse me, when you're on Andy Cohen's show, um, cause you call him your friend, well, we all know Andy ain't got no damn friends unless your name is SJP or, um, Mark Consuelos and his damn wife. He like the messy white folks. So he's not trying to really fuck with y'all cause look, Nene thought that was her friend too. You see how he did her. So when it comes to you reality girls, he ain't really your friend. The fact of the matter is he gave your ass a job over there on Bravo with the Queens court. So you felt that you were obligated to give them people the money. This is why I need Diddy. I need you to hurry up and buy BET so we can get our own people back over on that network so we can start giving our people the fruits of the labor and stop giving them people them crumbs because they live for it and it's giving them their ratings. But at the end of the day, we got Candy and we got Tamar, two talented women who could be out here just getting y'all bags, fighting and looking like fools in the eyes of these damn people and in the media. So... I do feel like Tamar maybe shouldn't have responded. Um, you know, she also went on and called Tam. I mean, she called Candy a Billy Go. She tweeted, "Now Billy Go is going to start be um back up again, calling me a liar. Someone needs to call her and tell her to chill." Tadina, yeah, she basically called him a slur and called him a girl. One million percent did what I said he did. Well, whether or not he did it, and whether or not that is true. It is to be determined. I'm going to keep my eyes on this topic as it develops because I'm sure this is not going away anytime soon. But the name calling, the slurs, all the other stuff, you're starting to look crazy out here, Tamar. You're starting to lose credibility. And people is just going to not take your word. But anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think because you know I'm, this story is going to go on and on. And I definitely want to know your thoughts. So thank you for watching.